Over the weekend, uh, during one of the playoff games, there was an alternate cast, alternative cast, right, where they had Chris Haynes of TNT and Vince Carter, the Hall of Fame basketball player. Uh, Who else was on there? Um, uh, Bamani Jones. And there was one more person I can't think, or Adam Lefko of TNT. And Rob... um, They had Rich Paul on from Clutch Sports, LeBron James' agent. And Rich was talking about the state of the Lakers. And he said, he just said kind of in passing that LeBron is a free agent. And Chris Haynes jumped on it like, hey, hey, hey. You just said LeBron's a free agent. Like he was breaking, you know, Rich was breaking news. And Rich said, well, you know, I'm not the type to negotiate or break news over the air or something like that. And, but it became a huge story, right? You probably saw it on Twitter and all that stuff. It, it It's kind of a big non story because we all knew that LeBron, he has one year, about $51 million left on his deal. We all knew, know he's going to become a free agent just because it behooves him to do it financially. He can make more money, get like a three year, $162 million deal or something like that. And so, um, but when this became a big deal, Rob, you started seeing reports about teams that would go after LeBron as a free agent, Philadelphia, Phoenix, Phoenix has no money. He'd have to pay. He'd have to go there and play for the, pay for the mini play. And you know, that's not happening. So we could just, just take Phoenix off the list. Um, and the only team though, really that could pay him what the Lakers can or close, I should say is the Philadelphia 76ers, Rob. And we know they got max money, and they want to team a third star with Joel Embiid and uh, Tyrese Maxey. And so here's what I – look, I think we both – I don't want to speak for you. I firmly believe LeBron James is going to stay with the Lakers. I believe you do as well. Like like not even – I can't even give you a milli – a, a millimeter, not Chris. Like, like yeah, like <laughs> right. Not one scintilla. How about yeah. that? Not, I, 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 just I, I may not look. I think is there? Could anything happen? Okay, but I, I feel too that he's staying with the Lakers. So I want to just do something for the sake of discussion, because we both again think he's going to stay with the Lakers. If you're the Philadelphia 76ers, and it's been reported, Rob, that Paul George is their number one target. Would you rather have Paul George or LeBron James next season or for the next two, three years, whatever it is? Paul George. I just would take Paul George going forward. Uh, LeBron, I just don't. Chris, I, I, I get it that he'll have two other players. He's had Anthony Davis. He's had other players. I, I'm just not positive where LeBron is that you're going to win a championship, no matter where he goes. I really, I'm not wow. convinced of that. I'm not. So I, you think they'd be better with Paul? George. I just think over the long court, over the long haul, they could be if Paul George, when he's right, Chris, he plays. He he's a tremendous player, but I get it. it he's had some stinkers that make people turn off to him. He's been injured too. There's a and then coupled with the with the Ka- Kawhi Leonard and just you know the the Clippers organization. I think you have a, even a, a a worse feeling about him because of those things. You know, like it's a it's a it's a it's a culmination of of a couple things. So when you look at Paul George, there's more of a frown than there is a smile. Is that fair? <laughs> do, 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 do you know uh, what I mean? Yes. Because of I, no, I I I know exactly what you're saying, and, and that's why, Rob. Honestly, my answer, even though he's five years older, and Paul George is no spring chicken. He's 34, but LeBron obviously 39. Going to be 40, right? Yep. Even so, Rob, I would take LeBron. If I were the Sixers and I could get, I don't think they can. If I could get LeBron, I would go for him over Paul George, and here's why. Like you said it, Paul George is as injury-prone as LeBron is at this stage of their careers. 
Um, and I think, Rob, and I'm, I'm, I'd be interested in your thought. I think LeBron's still better than Paul George. Like right now, I think he's a better player than Paul George. Yeah, I don't, I don't. Now, know. will he be three years from now? I don't know. But right now, like last this season, he was better than Paul George. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. There's something about LeBron and the empty calories, Chris, and he just didn't for the numbers he put up. They didn't win enough or consistently enough for me, and that that's why I question it. I, I just I, only, only I, I, I get. The numbers, but the results should have been better. But I hear you, and I and I, you know, I've brought that up. Maybe it was the first to talk about his impact on the game isn't the same. But I'm comparing that to vintage LeBron James. Like, I yeah, I'm saying yeah, his numbers look like they looked ten years ago. But don't be fooled, he's not that LeBron James. Right. Yep. But, I mean, when I compare him to a – Paul George has never been close to LeBron James. And I think, like, I mean, the proof's in the pudding. LeBron made all NBA this year. Paul George didn't. You know, and and so I I just think still LeBron's better. Now, maybe, you know, you're talking about not just a one-year deal. Will LeBron be better in two years, three years? I don't know. But right now I think he's better. But here's – this is why – because I get if you're saying, well, George will be better for the long haul. But see, Rob, if I'm Philadelphia, I am not looking at Joel Embiid at his numerical age. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking at Joel Embiid as, man, this dude, who knows how long he's got. We got to win now. He's 30 years old, but he seems to have the body of a 40-year-old. I I agree, but you— You know, so I would say I'm going for it now, and and if I think LeBron gives us the best chance of winning next year, then I'm going to get him. But there's also a chance, and I know last year was better for him, but he had been hurt like three of the first four years No last more than year. Paul George. I, I know, but as you get to be 40 years old, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid. If I'm, I'm, I'd be afraid if I was Philly. Because I mean, they're, look. They're, older they're, players they're, usually in their careers on that, you know what I mean, where, where there's some devastating Achilles or some sort of injury, and I'm not wishing that on LeBron. I'm right, just right. giving you, Chris, you know what I'm talking about. It's fact. fair, but it also, Rob, could happen to Paul George. Sure he, he's in his, like, he'll be in his 15th season. And he's, like I said, he's been injury prone. Rob, last year he played 56 games, or two years ago. Year before that, he played 31 games. No, I get it. Year before that, 54, 48, still, the year before. A like 40-year-old to a 34-year-old is a difference in the NBA. Yeah, I, I, I would go with LeBron. Um and if I'm LeBron, and again, we we both have said it, we think he's staying in L.A. There's so many other things for him. His family is here, Rob. And there's, look, yes, Bronny's gone, and he's not going to be playing at USC. He'll be in the NBA, looks like. But Bryce, is his younger son, is still in L.A. playing right. in high school. They're not going to uproot him. His daughter him. is playing, you know, is, has friends and stuff. Look, you can move. I mean, I moved a lot as a kid. But my guess is that they want to stay rooted in L.A. He's got his You hold a record here. for moves. Your dad. Yeah, I, I moved mean, my a lot, goodness, man. Chris. I, I, yeah, we were. I mean, after the age, Rob, of eight, I never lived anywhere until I was an adult for, for, for five years. Wow. I can't. I, I thought about it as an, you know, as an adult, Rob, time flies so much. We lived in Syracuse, New York for a year and a half. That's crazy. I'm like, how in the world? That, I, yeah, and then you pack up. wouldn't even be unpacked. Right, and then you but, pack up and then right. go. Right, and then we, but you know what? I, as I, talk a about, kid, I talk about LeBron with the suitcase. Your, your dad oh had a God. suitcase. Right, 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 <laughs> with the, with the uh, <laughs> statue. I mean, but you know, when you're a kid, though, you're going to school every day. You're playing sports. You know what I mean? Like, I really felt like we were rooted at, there in Syracuse. You know, just like every other place, but. You look at it as an adult, like my gosh, that was that was such a short time to be somewhere. But anyway, I so yeah, so we think LeBron will stay there. But I'm just gonna say straight from a basketball standpoint, Rob. I think if if it was just about basketball and where can I win and and play well, I would say Philly's the place to go. You got a good coach in Nick Nurse. You obviously have two great players with you, and Rob. It's not like like let's say he went to Philly and won. Nobody could be like, uh, you know, the Kevin Durant, Golden State thing. And uh, 
No, Philly hadn't even been to the conference finals with Embiid. Like, you could not say he went to a stacked team. Obviously, he's got some great players, but it would be viewed as he, whether he led them or Embiid, like whoever, but he was critical to them getting over the hump and winning a championship. So I don't think it'll happen, but I think for both parties, Rob, that that would be, if I'm the Sixers, I would pull out all the stops to go get LeBron. I yeah, pull out all the stops. I, I just, I, I get it. You feel like you're trying to win. Will LeBron help you win? You think what he adds, but but th- the truth of the matter is, uh, the last few years, even like I say with AD and and some of the stuff and. I, I just I don't think LeBron's going to win again, Chris. I don't care what the team is, and I I, I say that without knowing. I mean, I mean you obviously, might be right, I, right. you know what I mean. I, I I say that blindly, but I just don't. If he wins another championship, I'd be shocked. I, I just would be. I don't. I, I look. I've said it myself. I don't think he's going to win again. Now I'm. I've been assuming he's going to stay in L.A. If he went to Philly, that would be interesting. Um, but even the, in the East, it wouldn't be automatic. Wouldn't be, but I. But it, don't you think it'd be easier than the West? Yeah. You basically have Milwaukee and Boston. Now that's not easy because those two are good. I, we assume Milwaukee would be better next year. Um, and then Miami. I mean, I, they they always seem to have see something what going. They do. You know what I mean? And I don't. I don't. It won't I don't know easy. about the Knicks uh, if they make the right move or if they get another player. Could they be like in the way? You know, I'm just, just starting to look at the East a little bit. Uh, but I, definitely not the West. With all those, I like I can't yeah, see. Yeah, I, I agree. All the these Lakers young good not, teams. I mean, no. And Rob, what we're seeing. I mean, we've talked about it. I even said I thought the only team that the Lakers definitely couldn't beat was Denver, and that was largely because of the questions you know I had about okay, are Minnesota OKC okay, for real? Now, Rob, I mean Denver, Dallas, OKC, Minnesota, like all these teams are ahead of the Lakers, and they will be next year. It's just, I mean, the Lakers aren't, they aren't getting through the West. Like, so I, I look, I think it'd be good for him, but I don't see it happen.